authorities have yet to assess the full damage of the storm. Now we're seeing a lot of wind and rain outside our doors, but nothing like that that they're seeing in India. No, and and the uh, we're going to have some pretty nasty weather, but good reasons for our nasty weather because we're talking about major snowpack uh, getting built up this mm -hmm. weekend, which is really an exciting and uh, welcome thing. Here's what we're going on with the uh, Friday, December 30th, 2011, our final morning show of the year. Showers and valley cooling, winter storms in the Cascades, yes, we could get 12, 18 inches of snow quite easily. Some drying this weekend and a dry New Year's Day. A couple of warnings for you. Winter storm warning on the central and north Cascades till midnight tonight. 18 inches of snow at past level, more snow in the upper elevations. Flood warnings on the central coast and the coast range through this afternoon. Only minor flooding is expected, but a small chance of landslide, so be careful. Now, current temperatures, upper 40s. In Newport and Astoria and in Eugene, you think, oh, well, we've heard the upper 40s now, but it would be really warm this afternoon. Not so. We have actually hit our peak high temperatures for the day. We were 54 degrees when I got to work this morning. Our peak has already been 55. So we're actually going to be dropping in these temperatures. So don't wait for the afternoon to warm up because it will not do so. Low pressure system. There's your warm front that brought us all that warm, icky rain. Now here's the cold front that follows right behind every self-respecting warm front. Colder air, and that will lead to snow. That will lead to the snowpack not only getting built up, but it'll hold it in place. Storm vision, the computer model, yep, rain, 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 all this rain, all the green, all the yellow, that means rain. At 11 o'clock tonight, we think we dry out. We think we're going to be dry for Saturday, and all of a sudden, wait a minute, Al, why is it so rainy right off the coast on Saturday night? Well, it is going to be, but the computer model figures that's it. It's going to go away. So, yeah, you're going to, that's, that's a razor fine edge of where it rains and where it doesn't. But let's just strap ourselves. Let's strap ourselves to the to the key, to the keel to the to the mast and just sort of ride this thing through. I think it's going to be kind of interesting weather-wise. Heavy morning rain and windy on the central coast. High temperatures, low 50s, but we've already hit those temperatures, so it's going to cool down. Rain again on the south coast and windy. High temperatures in the low 50s, and we've told you about the flood advisories and warnings. Drying out Saturday, drying out Sunday. Rain again come Monday. The Umpqua Basin. We see showers and cooling down. Winds to about 25 miles per hour. High temperatures in the low to mid. 50s. Then we take a look at the next seven days. We think we cool down and dry out tomorrow, but then we have a dry Sunday. New Year's Day looks like it'll be a dry one, and we might even have a dry Monday. So your three day weekend could be dry from start to finish in the Umpqua Basin. Told you about the winter storm warnings. High temperatures this afternoon in the 30s and winds to about 30 miles per hour. Those are blizzard like conditions. Rain today, snow tonight, high temperatures. Low to mid 40s. Rain today in the Willamette Valley, Albany, Corvallis, all the way down to Cottage Grove. Mid 50s for high temperatures, but that's already been achieved. We are now cooling down through the afternoon. And the seven day weather outlook showers today. Much cooler tomorrow, barely getting out of the 30s, we think. And then uh, New Year's Day looks dry. So New Year's Eve Day, New Year's Eve, and New Year's Day, they all look dry. That is a complex forecast you have you there. You know what? There is a lot of stuff going on, but that's what makes it fun, you know? Absolutely. Keeps it interesting. Keeps yeah. us on our toes. It does, indeed. It is now 14 minutes past the hour. The controversy continues between those opposed and those in favor of LTD moving the MX bus line to West Eugene. The debate commences.